Well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalking Creations. I'm going to be decorating uh, this flower pot. I'm not quite done with my gardening. i got a few little things here and there I still need to plant yet. However, I've got, I'm going to be planting a rosemary plant in this pot. And I've had this pot for a while. It's been sitting outside. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to decorate it up. And there is the Chocotour has the jar herb cutouts. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, jar cutout, jar cutout herbs. And they have a rosemary one. I thought that would look really great on this side. But I'm going to be setting it on my porch. And sometimes I need to change, turn things around. I thought, oh, I'm going to do something on the other side. And this is a transfer. This is a last. This one is a last chance transfer. This one is called Love Lives Here. And this one has like Rise and Shine, Bless This Home. You can use whichever saying that it is that you would like to use. But on my flower pot, seeing that it's going to be sitting on my porch, I'm going to use this one. But I'm only going to use the Good Morning portion, and I'm going to use the Sun. So I'm going to get started here, and I, this is my fuzzing cloth. I'm not going to fuzz any of my transfers this time because I want to make sure this is plastic, this is not ceramic, because I want to make sure that it sticks very well to my surface, and this has a slight texture to it, and like I said, it's been outside for quite a few years. So I just took my fuzzing cloth and I rolled it up here a little bit just to hold my pot. But if you don't have a fuzzing cloth to do that, you can just use a towel. I'm not sure if this is going to hold now or not. But anyhow, um, you can use a towel. Let's say you have a bath towel, dish towel, anything like that, you can just use a towel. Actually, I think I might just do that instead. I'm going to set this aside. Let's see, this one has got a little bit more towel than my fuzzing cloth. See if this work a little bit better. They're just trying to prevent it from rolling around so much. Hopefully you can see that. All right, now I'm going to do the rosemary. Now my transfer, these, this is a, a size B transfer. This is an eight and a half by 11 and you have four pieces to it. You've got the oregano, thyme, parsley, and rosemary. Like I said, I'm going to be planting rosemary in this one. So I thought, I, you know what, that'd be great. I'm going to use this one. However, this transfer Okay, you can cut them apart. I just take my scissors and I score the point and I score along, along the lines there. But my transfer does not completely fit on there. So I'm going to basically kind of tweak it to fit what I want it to. Now what I did, if you've never seen any of my videos before, this part is a backer sheet. As you see, there's a shiny side. I haven't marked the back of it yet because I'm leaving these other transfers on, so I'll know which one to put it back on when it, uh, when the, after I clean this. These are sticky. They are reusable. Chocolate Tour states they are reusable about 8 to 12 times. So I'm just going to try to fit this on here. Now this is a curved surface, so I need to be a little bit more mindful of what I'm doing here. And there is a little bit of a lip, like a little, little ledge there. So I'm going to try to fit that on there. We will see how this goes. Now I'm going to be using quite a few colors. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm going to be using quite a few colors. You don't have to do that. You can use all the same color. You can use all white, whatever you want to use. I am going to be for the the rosemary. I almost said thyme. I am going to be using pesto, and I'm going to be using sage. I'm going to kind of mix it a little bit on here. I've got some stir sticks, so I'm just going to kind of dabble it on there to give it a little contrast because it rosemary isn't all green green but you can use whatever color it is you want I'm just trying to give you some ideas of how you can use these all right now this is the pesto Side. I've got a little ceramic plate that I put my my tools on. Oops, this is Dune. Not using that one. 
that one's going to be for the other one. And this is sage. That is a pretty color. Now, if at any point this video gives you some inspiration, it gives you some ideas, or you just like what you're watching, um, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me with YouTube also. And I would truly greatly appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And be sure to click that notification bell so that way you are notified of whenever I post a video. And where are my... There they are. I hid them. Okay, I'm going to be using the mini squeegee. And I'm just going to, with the bubble side there, I'm just going to spread this out. Now, if I need a little bit more paste, I can do that. Like I said, you can do this all one color if you choose to. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a variation there. This is completely optional. Like I said, I'm just trying to give you some ideas, some inspiration. You could do this all in black, white. That is one of the things I like about Chalk Couture. You know, you can get pick your colors, pick your transfer, and use whatever it is you would like to use. All right, I am going to scrape off this excess here on my little plate, and I'm going to clean. Oh, you know what? I'm not done yet. I'll use that for something else for my rosemary. And now I'm just going to peel it. I think that looks really good on the terracotta. Now the rosemary part, I was a little torn on what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go this way, if I wanted to go that way. But if I go that way, I'm going to need to make sure that that is dry. I thought about putting it on the bottom also, but nah, not going to do that. So I'm going to get my little drying tool here. If you need to speed things up, you can use a hair dryer if you like to. I think I'm going to put rosemary facing this way. I'm cooking <laughs> while I am uh, I'm doing a video. So if you hear my little timers and everything going off, just ignore it. Now this is going to be outside. I'm not spraying this down with anything. Nature takes, it cor takes its course and wears it off and so be it. You know, because the rosemary, I live in Michigan, rosemary is not going to, to live and thrive like it will down in Florida or someplace in a warmer climate. So it doesn't bother me if this does wear off. But you can try sealing it. I've never done that, you know, with a plastic container, but you can try it if you want to. Now, okay, I'm going to oops, place my rosemary on here. I'm going to turn it this way. Well, that's kind of warm. And you know what? I can use my backer sheet here. So that way, if there's any paste coming through, it's not going to... go back on my surface and I'm just going to you can measure an eyeball if you I mean measure and be precise if you like to I eyeball a lot there we go I just want to make sure that's on there I'm just going to rub that down with my finger nope I need to move it over a little bit more okay let's try that and I'm going to use the pest. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use Shimmer Olive. I want to see what Shimmer Olive looks like on this terracotta. Okay. So I want to try that. All right, I'm done with the sage. Here's the Shimmer Olive. Oh, I love this color. Now, I pre-stirred these. Oops, there's the cap. This one comes with that little foam seal on it. That is so pretty. It's looking a little bit more vibrant on my my end. It could be because the outlight light I'm using. This is a really pretty shimmery olive color. So I want to do my rosemary. 
you, like I said, you could do that in black. I thought about that, but I was like, mm, no, I'm just going to kind of stick with the the olive tone theme there. All right, I'm going to scrape that off, put my cap back on. And now peel and reveal. That is so cute. I like that. Actually, well, we'll see how it is. It's kind of on the light side. Maybe pesto or black would be better. I can always wash it off if I change my mind on that. Another thing that I like about Chalk Couture and using the paste, these are water soluble, you can clean it off. Now until I can get to the sink, I've got a little towel here that I use that I lay my transfer down sticky side and just spritz it with some water. When you're at home, just go ahead and take it to your sink when you're done and clean it underneath some cool water, cool or cold water, with a border racer on the side that you put the paste through and just touch it up a little bit around on the back where the mesh screening is. Make sure there's no paste in that mesh screening. It's really easy clean up. I'm just going to give this a dry because I want to flip this over on the other side and I want to use my transfer Uh, love lives here. Sorry, I was drawing a blank. I'm multitasking here. I'm looking at my, my stove, too. Okay, that's dry. That is dry. And there we go. It has a little shimmer to it. I like that. Alright, I'm going to put it on the other side. I'm going to assume that's about it right there. Alright, now this transfer right here, Love Lives Here, okay, you've got several transfers. This is a size C transfer. This is 12 by 18, and you've got many various ones here. I'm going to use the Good Morning Sunshine, but I'm only going to use the Good Morning part because I like to turn my pots around. And then I'm going to use that little sun. Oops. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Now I wasn't sure if I wanted to do Good Morning in uh, white or not. Um, I decided not. Now this is a little bit longer and this is on a curved surface so I need to be a little bit more mindful and try to spread this out as well as possible. Mm, I'm going to lower it just a little bit. There we go. And I'm trying to prevent air bubbles from being underneath there, make sure that I don't have any like wrinkles or anything that will be preventing me from having good contact with my flower pot. Now this is plastic. This is not a ceramic pot. This is a plastic one. So this may stain the plastic pot, I don't know. But like I said, it's been outside for a long time. And I thought, you know what, I want to decorate it. Okay, I don't know if that's me or if it looks like the morning is crooked. It looks like it's crooked. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. It could be illusional because uh, because of the curve. It could be the way it was cut. I don't know. that is on there pretty well. All right, this, I'm going to be using Dune. This is kind of like a yellowy beige color. See, this is camel, and that's Dune. It's much lighter, but it's not as bright as white, and it's not as yellow as sunny side. I thought, you know what, that would be good for a good morning. Oh, my G's coming up. All right, I want to use my squeegee here and see if I can get that on there a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to use my Dune with my mini squeegee, and I'm just going to apply that on there. Okay. 
scraping off the excess to try to make sure I've got good coverage and any excess I scrape back into my jar. Okay. Put my cap back on. I'm going to peel that up. I got a little bit of H on the sunshine, but that's okay. I can clean that off. This is water soluble. And there we go. Good morning. I like that color. I think it goes well. I think the bright might have been a little too bright. That's just me. Like I said, you can design this however it is you want. You might want to use Love Lives here. You might you want to put that on your flower pot. Love Lives here. Or maybe a little house on there. That is totally up to you. Oops. Okay. I'm going to get me a little disinfectant wipe here. And I'm just going to wipe that off. See? Boop. It's gone. All right. I'm going to use my drying tool here. Make sure this is dry before I put on my little sunshine, my little sun, for the sunshine. Okay, let me see if this is, that feels good. All right, and now I'm going to use the sun. Now, I scored at least this section that I was using. You can cut this apart if you would like to. I just try to keep it on one sheet, so that way you don't have all these little pieces. But that is totally up to you. And I'm going to put my sun here. You know what, I'll do it that way. I'm just going to press that down with my finger. Alright, I need to clean off my, my squeegee here so I don't cross-contaminate my colors. And I'm going to go into sunny side yellow for my sun. I'm just going to dip my squeegee in there, bevel edge. Oops, I need a little bit more. Generously apply it and scrape off your excess, off your transfer, and then put it back in the jar. And now I'm going to peel and reveal. Well, that was just too stinking cute. Spritz that. I'm going to dry my sun. So I've got the good morning side, and then I have on there what the plant is, rosemary. You know, I think I'm going to, I'm going to redo this. I think I'm going to do it in the pastel. It's kind of hard to see the rosemary. So I'm going to take my disinfectant wipe, and I'm just going to see if I can get this cleaned off. Because it is dry, I do need to scrub a little bit. I'm going to take the rosemary off. Okay. I hope this works because I spritzed this already. We're going to find out. Alright, I need to get my backer sheet for a backup. I think I'm going to do it in pesto. So I'm going to cover up that plant part. And we're going to try this. Okay, I'm going to just lay it down. Oops, it's wet. I'm going to be spritzing it. All right. This may not work. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to clean off the back of it. With my disinfectant wipe. I'm going to wipe this off again. 
I'm going to blow on this to try to get it dry at the top part, the rosemary. Okay. I need to move it down just a bit. I'm trying to make sure my surface is dry. I'm going to lay my backer sheet here to protect what I've already put paste on. I'm going to press this down. There we go. Alright, I am going to use, that was the shimmer. That's a pretty color, but it was a little too, not enough contrast to see what it was saying. So I'm going to go back to the pesto and I'm just going to go through and squeegee this on there. I'm going to scrape off the excess. And now I'm just going to peel it up. And there we go. Yeah, that shows up much better. Much better. You either need to go light or you need to go dark, I think. I like the rosemary. I like it in the outlook better than I do. Um, the uh, pesto than I do. The shimmer olive. Make sure this is dry. Okay. That is pretty much it. So if you want to change your mind, you got an idea of how you could do that. And now it is ready for me to plant. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas. And thank you so much. Oh, and I, <laughs> I am thankful for that you watched, but I will have a shopping cart link to post it down below. So if you'd like to get any of these items uh, from Chocotour, I will have that posted down there for you. Thank you again for watching.